The protests in Perry Square last evening obviously turning into a riot after dark. Reporter Chelsea Swift joins us live in the newsroom with more on what was going on downtown when the riots started. Chelsea. Hi, Brian. From where I was standing last night, I saw a lot of people with their cell phones out recording fireworks being launched and tear gas being lobbed from the police department roof. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. This is one of the phrases people were chanting as the peaceful protest began early Saturday evening. One woman sharing why Floyd's death brought her to the protest. I can't get over it. It hurts me because it could be one of my sons. The protest escalating as people took to the streets, marching from Perry Square down to the Bayfront, blocking off State Street. Another protester saying it was a personal experience that compelled him to join the march. When I was 11, 12 years old, an Erie Police Department officer stuck his gun in my face. That stuff is regular to a black man in not only Erie, Pennsylvania, but it's regular to a black man in America. And by nightfall, the protests turned into a riot as people congregated in Perry Square. Police began lobbing tear gas to scatter the crowds. However, the unrest continued, one resident saying why he and others stayed even after the police started using tear gas and shooting rubber bullets. Every single person out here got a story to tell, and it's basically against the police. You know, if they, if they would come out and be part of the community, we wouldn't be out here. Later in the evening, rioters became disorderly, shooting fireworks and damaging storefronts along State Street. Members of the community are saying the destruction that occurred during the riot takes away from the initial message of the peaceful protest. These people don't represent us, and by doing that, Unfortunately, we've lost a message that a man's life was taken. One man who was at the riot saying he believes things got out of hand. I think we could have been more on the people businesses, left the businesses alone. And coming up later in the newscast, you'll hear from business owners whose storefronts were damaged in the rioting. Brian. Chelsea, thank you. And